this case, we are going to go to an actual API and I'm going to show you how we can do a huge data pool looping through an API, making multiple calls and bringing it all in Power Query super fast and efficiently. So starting from absolute bare minimum scratch, new source, blank query, go to advanced editor and remember exactly how we start. Instead of a query, we want custom function here. And so we're going to name our parameter text value. We're going to define the data type. And then to make it a custom function, what do we need? We need the equals and the greater than there. And I'm going to put some more code in here. Just one second. Quick little run through of what we're doing here. We are querying the profit.com API. Profit.com has a ton of uh, financials data, data on stocks, ETFs, mutual funds, that kind of thing. And we're establishing a few um, variable names here and ultimately pulling back a JSON data type that's gonna give us a data table. So let's run that. And we're back at our custom function screen asking us for a text value, that's our parameter. I'm going to put in a stock ticker here and let's see what comes back and it is in JSON format. So let's turn everything to a table and expand column names. And here we've got a listing of every public filing filed with the SEC from Tesla. And now let's do a bit where we loop through multiple stocks and pull multiple bits of this data. Okay, I'll take you through every step. Let's go into enter data, call our column ticker, if we can spell accurately. Ticker, Tesla, Apple, then let's go other end of the spectrum. Let's do some oil and gas companies. Let's call this tickers. Press OK. Bring that one column for record table in. And let's go into add column, invoke custom function. We're going to call this filings, SEC. And it's the query one function, we didn't name it, and the parameter data we wanna feed into it is the ticker column. Press OK, and it has looped through each of those tickers and brought us that same data that we just looked at. A Couple more clicks here, and there's all the Tesla filings, all the Apple filings, down through Exxon and Chevron. Just like that, we used a custom function to loop through the profit.com API and bring a ton of information back. So here are all of our SEC filings that we got from the API. Now let's do a little bit of data transformation on the file URL so that we have the ability to quickly open each of those actual filings. Let's make the data category web URL, bring it into a table here, do a little bit of formatting. Let's make a slicer with the tickers and let's bring in the form type and on the slicer, bring in the form type on 10K and let's check that our links are working. And just like that, we have the 2022 year ended 10K or the most recent 10K for Exxon Mobil. Okay, so we just pulled in some URLs for all of the SEC filings for publicly traded companies. I showed you how to loop through the API. And if you want a whole lot more data where that came from, from an API like profit.com, check out the video I linked above where I really dive into all the nitty gritty details of pulling some super useful information. Hope this video was useful. Good luck out there.